So I just wanted to show people what I've been working on for the last couple of days. Um, this is intended for the Oculus Rift. I don't have a dev kit yet. I was a bit late ordering my, my kit. Um, I'm order number 48,000 or something like that. Um, but, you know, you can install the SDK. So this is Unity, uh, as you can probably tell. Um, this probably looks pretty familiar. This is the Tuscany demo scene. Um, I have, um, I already spent a little bit of time messing around and I, I made a day-night cycle. I have another video for that, but if I advance time, things fade away, the sun moves across the sky, and back it up, whatever. Um, so that's kind of cool. There's a few little rendering glitches. See that? The, uh, the real-time shadows render through some of the materials. Um, I haven't bothered looking at that yet. But anyway, um, so one thing I really want to try is um, kind of a jetpack simulator. I think it lends itself to the rift. Um, I think vehicle games will probably end up feeling better than um, you know games where you're just playing playing a guy running around, if you like. Um, so the idea here is you're sitting in a, in a frame. I don't have a, a body rendering yet or anything like that, but you're sitting in a sort of a jetpack frame. Um, and if you imagine the jetpack has um, like a vectoring nozzle, like if you think of a rocket engine, um, so what that means is uh, if it's pointed straight down, I can just vertically kind of apply thrust like this and fly, hover. It's on a, this is controlled with a Xbox controller, so I have the thrust on the uh, one of the trigger buttons, so I can apply a small amount of thrust or large amount of thrust or, or whatever. Um, so when you're on the ground, it's it's just using the left stick kind of as normal to run around and strafe. Um, when I'm in the air, that that doesn't do anything um, unless I'm thrusting, which I am right now. So if I'm not thrusting, I'm moving. Nothing is happening. If I am thrusting, the the nozzle is kind of vectoring around and and pushing me um, in these different directions. So, oops, the um, that, that's kind of cool, so you can hop up here. I haven't changed any of the collision. This is all uh, built in. Uh, the reason I fell through the floor there is because there, there is no collision outside of the uh, outside of this kind of yard that the uh, the villa is in. Um, anyway, the other thing I've been playing with is um, what are these things in the sky? Well, these are these are planets. These uh, these are actually gravity sources. So as I get close to a planet, the um, the game will orient my character uh, along the gravity vector, the current gravity vector. So there's actually, there are three gravity vectors in this scene. There's this moon up here, which is kind of, it's small, so it has a, a much lower gravity than um, this planet that I'm standing on with this beautiful texture. Um, and then there's a there's a, um, another gravity vector, a gravity source, which is the kind of the world, if you like, the, the Earth. Um, that's actually a plane, So and, and these ones are spheres. So the, the difference is a sphere gravity source will always try and pull you towards the center, and a plane gravity source will just try and pull you down to the plane. So um, not the center point of the plane, otherwise you would always get pulled to the middle of the world, which, which doesn't work. So, um, But yeah, the, I, I think this kind of it's pretty fun. You can see the Super Mario Galaxy style navigation of the world here. So the gravity is keeping me pulled down. The orientation is keeping me oriented. Um, if I if I thrust vertically here, I, I move in the direction that, that you would expect. Um, and that means I can kind of transit to this moon by getting underneath it and thrusting upwards. And I fall, fall onto the moon, if you like. Um, it's got such gentle gravity that it's a challenge to actually stay on that moon, especially on the side facing the uh, facing the planet, because it's it's trying to it's just pulling you away from the moon all the time. So if I get onto this side, I'm kind of safe from that. But if I run over here, yeah, didn't touch the thrust. It's just pulling me towards the planet again. So it's pretty interesting. So it's I'm not sure how this is going to play with the motion sickness. Uh, it's obviously quite disorienting. Um, I can thrust away if I get out of the capture of the planet. There we go, captured by by the Earth again. Do a control burn. 
to land. There we go. So yeah, so I, I don't know how this is going to play with motion sickness. Um, it may be very bad for motion sickness. I'm not sure yet. I don't have a dev kit yet. Hopefully that'll show up in the next four, six weeks, something like that. Um, yeah, but it's it's it opens up quite a lot of gameplay possibilities, I think. Um, and again, it, it's it's you know moving into the area of exploration and precision movement rather than combat. Um, you know, I, I again I keep saying this. Haven't played anything on the Rift yet, but to me that that what's kind of interesting and exciting about the possibilities that it opens up is, is this the immersion into another world and uh, kind of new new aspects of gameplay that that we can uh, build on around there. So, yep, so that's it. So um, thanks for watching and I'll be back with some more updates, I'm sure. <laughs>